Hi, I'm Brian. In this video, I'll test rules and parameters in the SAP Agent Performance Management's External Validator and OK2 features. In this session, I'm completing two testing scenarios in the External Validator, and then we'll use one of the same tests in the OK2 feature. The first test will offer a negative testing result, and the second will offer a positive result. I'll begin by navigating to the external validator located within the administrator portal. For my first test, I'll open the master rule record entitled Lookup Producer 2. Now, I'll navigate to the Test EV Master Rule menu item. I'll enter today's date and then enter the producer ID Test P100. With this test, I'm anticipating specific error messages because I know that this producer ID does not exist in my database. So I'm expecting to receive an error code of EV016 and a not OK response. I'll click Execute at the bottom of this page to implement this test. I automatically move to the Results tab and see that I successfully received the expected not OK evaluation status response. In the Rules section, I receive the anticipated error message of EV016, inactive producer. Also, for the producer licenses and appointments lookup EV rules, I received EV300 and EV400 for inactive licenses and appointments not found. In summary, this was a successful test because I received my anticipated negative testing results. For my second testing scenario, I'll search for a positive valid producer response. This time, I'm searching for a producer that I know is active. In this test, I'll also search for the producer's active licenses and appointments. With the Input Parameters workspace, I'll begin by adding today's date and then enter my producer's ID new 1234. Now, I'll click Execute. With this test, I received a positive OK response as seen with the evaluation status and a warning code of EVW011 with the message producer found. I also received warning codes of EVW300 and EVW409. This signifies that the license and appointment codes were also found. In summary, this was a successful test because I received my anticipated positive results. I'll now move to the OK2 feature by navigating to the Manager portal. I'll click the OK2 menu item and move to the Master Rule ID field on the Manual OK2 execution page. The process of using OK2 is the same process that I use with the external validator, since the validator feature is the actual engine of the OK2 feature. With this manual testing option, I'll select a master rule from the options that I created in the external validator. I'll choose Lookup Producer 2. I'll choose today's date, and I'll enter a producer's ID. I'll enter new 1234, and finally, click Run, located at the bottom right of this page. As I observed with my last demonstration, I received a positive status message of OK. I also received positive results for each of the rule tests. With the OK2 feature, there are other menu options available. OK2 Override Search and OK2 History Search. With the OK2 Override Search, I have the options of manually overriding testing results for specific producers, contracts, appointments, and other factors. I've already created an active override example. I'll select Search and move to the OK2 Override Detail page. I'll reopen this record to show that I can alter the effective date, the override type, the producer ID, and the OK2 result. One additional option is the OK2 History Search option. 
With this option, I can view a search history for specific producers and sort the historical data for specific dates, for specific responses, specific products, and more. I can also import and export data from this OK2 history search page. Thanks for watching.